What's going on, guys? Level M Diecast bringing you some pretty cool stuff today. We are going to unbox the new uh, for 2021 Volvo construction line from Majorette. Uh, there are six models in the single pack, and then I also do have the haulers. Uh, we're going to go through these real quick. This is the FMX mixer. Uh, we're also going to do the uh, FMX tipper. So basically the same truck, just different attachments on the back. We're also going to do the FMX skip truck. Looking pretty good. We're going to roll into this uh, A60H hauler dump truck. <clears throat> Six wheel articulated. Uh, and then we're also going to do this EC950F excavator. And uh, there are six models, like I said. The last one is this front end loader. Now, I don't have that as the single, but I do have that as a hauler. This is the FMX low bed hauler. So we're gonna crack this guy open when we crack him open. We'll take a look at the hauler. Uh, we'll take a look at also putting the uh, excavator and stuff on this trailer and just see how that looks. Uh, and I do have two more haulers, so we're going to check those out. We're also going to do the show truck, Volvo construction equipment with the FMX hauler. Looking pretty good. And then we're also going to roll into this guy. This is the construction container hauler truck, uh, FMX. This guy does have a different color cab, and those containers are removable. Uh, as I mentioned in my haul video when I got this, uh, pretty sure this is a brand new trailer, brand new casting uh, for 2021. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, these are 600 series scale. These are not the trailer line scale. These are the big scale guys. These are the big, big honking good ones. So we're going to crack these guys open. So what we're going to do, because we're level in and we do things a little different, um, we're going to crack these open and we're going to check the functionality and we're going to, we're going to kind of play with them a little bit. We're going to kind of play with them. I mean... You got to remember, these are designed for kids. I mean, yes, they're going to go in a display case here at Level M and, uh, you know, they're going to live their life out in protected plexiglass. But for most of these models created, uh, they are going to be uh, destroyed and played in the dirt. So we're going to crack open this guy. This is the FMX cement truck, FMX mixer. See if I can get that blister to cooperate with me. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, there are no deets really on the back. It doesn't like show the other models or anything like that. So no deets, no deets. All right. So this is our FMX mixer. Um, this guy looks pretty good. I do really like this casting. This is mainly metal. There are your base deets made in Thailand. Looking pretty good. Very minimal plastic on the base. Uh, this whole chassis area is plastic or metal, and of course the yellow is metal as well. There is your Volvo on the container. Now, if you guys say, "Well, that looks a little bit familiar," well, it probably does, because this is the man TGS that they already make, and the attachments on the back are the exact same mixer. Now, there really is zero reason for them to change this mixer. There's really no reason to create a new one. So these. Uh, FMX chassis, they are different, but they are scaled exactly the same as the man trucks, uh, so they can use all the same attachments back and forth. Now, you'll know the man truck does say man right here on the uh tank cover there, so the chassis are different. Obviously, the way the man truck runs, the way that the FMX runs are different. Uh, other than that, they are the same. Uh, and then just looking at the uh wheelbase here. They are almost exactly the same. They're very, very, very close. Very scaled to each other. Looks pretty good. And then, of course, they both have that same tow hitch on the back. So, from the back, they look like the exact same trucks. But they are different. They are different. This guy looks pretty good. Looks pretty good when he rolls. And then, of course, does all the good stuff. <clears throat> We're going to go on to the next FMX. This is the Tipper Truck. Crack this guy open. This guy is exactly the same 
truck is the other one, except for he's got the tipper on the back. Looking really, really good. All the same deets, in case you guys are curious. Literally all the same deets. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this guy is the tipper. Does say Volvo on the side. Does open in the back and function exactly like you'd expect a dump truck to function because this is majorette. Uh, obviously, there's no uh, piston or anything in here. It doesn't need to be. There's plenty of space to grab for kids and dump it. That is uh, maxed out. There is a limiter on the back. It's molded into the plastic. So that is as far as it will dump, which is exactly as far as you need it to dump. So it looks really, really good. Really like the really like how flush the dump is with this guy. This is a this is a new dump, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I think this is a new dump. I unfortunately don't have one of the man TGSs with a dump on it. I don't know if that exists, to be honest with you. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have one of those, which is, you know, it is what it is. Uh, last FMX we have here. This is the skip truck. I'll crack this guy open and take a look at him. Does say Volvo printed on the side. Does have some Chevrons printed on the side. Um, and yes, this is a skip truck. So this is Majorette. Of course, the skip works. It goes as far down as it needs to go to make sure that it can get right there on the ground. And then, of course, true fashion. It does just pop off. Always weary about that plastic because it's, it's pretty thin. But Majorette uses pretty pretty good quality plastic. It says Volvo on both sides. In case you're wondering what the tip the tipper truck looks like by itself. There you go. Nice detail in there with some diamond plating. It's a pretty nice truck. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice setup. Just snap them back on there. Put them back up. Plenty of, of space in there that it stays level on its own, which is really, really nice. Really like that. It looks pretty good. A pretty good, pretty good trio going so far. Uh, but we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to bring in a different type of uh, hauler here. This is the A60H. This is the uh, articulated six-wheel drive. Um, I highly doubt that this is articulated like you think it's supposed to be. Because um, that just kind of wouldn't work at this scale. The dump is all metal. All metal. As a matter of fact, uh, this model is almost entirely metal. Um, it does turn. Just like you'd expect it to right here. Um, although it doesn't have the side-to-side -side rotation that a real one would. But it looks pretty good. These are your deets. This has that pivot in there. And then there's this little notch molded into the metal to keep it from going too far. To where it would impact anything. <clears throat> it's a pretty nice model. You have some of the uh, casting detail that runs from the base into the dump <clears throat> sorry guys uh looks pretty good i do like the offset cab very accurate looks very very good a lot of detail on this guy a lot of good detail a lot of good prints too uh the steering mechanism is extremely tight but it's just the way it's going to be um if you were a kid playing with this over time it would just get easier and easier and eventually you could just sit here and just flop it back and forth because all the friction would be gone Right now, it's it's pretty stiff. It looks pretty good. I'm going to throw him in the back. Uh, we're going to pull out an excavator. Now, it's been a while since Majorette made an excavator. And honestly, nobody does tracks anymore. It's just, it's really not feasible at this scale. Um, if you get into like uh, some Norscott models or Diecast Masters or whatever, uh, they do 164 scale, but this is not 164 scale. Um, I don't know if they even put the scale on the bottom. This is one one thirty seven scale, uh, so this is a a monstrosity of a excavator in real life. Looks very very good with the prints on the back. All the details has that really nice um, guard here in the, on the front of the uh, cab, which is a separate piece. It's a very good attention to detail. Um, obviously, this rotates three sixty because of course it does. The good thing about this one is it does have full articulation. So your bucket moves individually. 
This arm moves individually, and then, of course, you're up and down. The up and down is limited. That's as far down it goes, and that's as far up as it goes. But it's plenty to scoop. You can get the bucket up in there. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now, obviously, it's you know not scaled very well to these, but it's a, it's a very large model. Um, this whole top piece is metal. The whole thing is metal. So it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Now... The sixth model would be the front end loader, but I actually have the front end loader as this guy because uh, they're the exact same. There's no difference between the two of them. So we're just going to crack this guy open. There we go. It's a much, much larger package to package open. Slide him out. There we go. Set the truck to the side for one moment. Take a look at the front end hauler here. Now, this one uh, is a little bit of a disappointment. There is a lot of plastic on this one. Uh, as a matter of fact, this top cab and the yellow section in the back here uh, is the only thing that's metal with the exception of the lift arm. That lift arm that's in gray is metal as well. But the entire bottom of the casting is plastic. Um, which is it's kind of kind of odd compared to the rest of them that there's that much plastic um, but it does have full articulation dump your bucket all the way down bring it all the way to the ground looks pretty good there are the print deets on the back and no it doesn't open up in case anybody was asking be really cool if it did open up it does look like a separate piece but uh it does not open up making sure i'm just making sure okay because it does look like it opens but it doesn't open so if you want to do your tipper truck you got your tipper truck here coming in with your load just lift it up dump it in there there is enough space so that looks pretty good um although normally it'd be a little bit higher now just for reference purposes, I did bring in the last front end loader that Majorette made. This is the Lieber um, 538. This has pretty much the exact same amount of plastic and metal as the new Volvo one does. This front loader section is also metal. Buckets plastic just like the other one. So do a little bit of a comparo here. So that's as high as that one goes up. That's as high as that one goes up. So it's a little bit higher, a little bit, a little bit bigger up there. Uh, as far as all the way down to the ground, uh, the Volvo does have a new bucket. It's a completely different bucket. Um, even the uh, lift arms are different and stuff like that. So nothing's been reused or whatever, but they scale well to each other. They look pretty good. They are both obviously licensed models. But just wanted to showcase that real quick. Just for reference purposes, because you know I like to do the Comparos here. So let's bring in our hauler real quick, since we already had this guy out. Now, um, the good thing about this particular hauler, uh, this is a licensed hauler. This is a Flegel low loader. Now this is, like I said, this is a real licensed trailer. This is not something you're ever going to see any other manufacturer do but they actually license this which was interesting uh, it does have a kickstand at the bottom here now the only drawback to this trailer is this gray piece you see here is the only piece of metal on the entire thing the entire trailer is plastic the whole entire thing is plastic now there is some nice print on the back it does say volvo on the ramps there's some really good detail in the plastic looks really really good and then of course they do roll down that's what the low loader looks like. Just chilling. This is your FMX low hauler. It is the same cab as these guys. There are the Comparo Deets. Looking pretty good. Uh, I do like this one with just you know the back section here. All this black, all the gray, it's all metal. Um, and then there is your plastic Deets on the bottom. There is the deets for the base, in case you guys want that. Uh, no tail light print or nothing like that, but full full front print. Looks pretty good. Looks really, really good. Uh, you can just take your front end loader, 
We're just going to lift him up. He rolls on there very, very well. Put the bucket down. Boom. You're ready to go. Now, it doesn't connect to the trailer at all. So, just throw them off. Uh, old school majorette, low loader, triple axle low loader. There used to be little hooks in there. There used to be hooks on the base of the, the uh, models that would just snap in there. And you could literally hold it upside down. Which was pretty nice, but uh, that's gone away. Uh, as far as putting the uh, excavator on there, that looks pretty good as well. I think you guys can agree that looks really, really nice. Hooking the truck back up to it. That is with the stand down. Perfect level. And then as you just drive forward, you just push the little stands up. Ridiculous play value. Looks super, super good. Um, if you want to just get ridiculous with overloading it, um, doesn't quite fit unless you want to put the bucket up here, uh, which is completely unrealistic. But then there you go. And then you can roll around with that guy. So we'll put him in the back because we got more to go. Uh, we're going to knock out this so show truck right here because uh, there's really not a lot to show about this. The trailer doesn't open as far as I know. Um, just slide open the bottom. Let the truck come out. There we go. This is your show trailer. It is a giant sticker on the side. Uh, looks pretty good though. The stands are fixed. So they don't go anywhere. Um, there's some movement in the axle just to help it move around, but it's not necessarily suspension. Uh, it's just movement in the axles. Uh, this uh, gray inner piece here is metal, and then this one here is plastic, and then, of course, the whole trailer is plastic. Like I said, trailer does not open. There's no opening doors or anything like that. It's all snapped together and sealed as one unit. It looks pretty good. Volvo Construction Equipment got a front-end loader loading a crusher, looks like. And then on this side, you have the excavator loading the articulated six-wheel dump truck. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, and then, of course, just the exact same FMX hauler. Uh, this guy is just in yellow. Looks good. I like yellow. I love the theme here. Love the theme. It snaps on there. I'll put him in the back as well. Looking really, really good. All right. We're going to go on to what I consider to be the money shot. Um, just because this is a brand new trailer and it looks so good, uh, just ridiculous. So let's just go ahead and get them open. Pop them out. Get some, get some of that debris out of there. All right. So this is the container construction hauler. Now. We'll separate the truck and pull him off of there. There are rubber bands, as you can see on there, that are holding the containers on. So we're just going to grab the rubber bands, slide it off. Oh, man, this, man, this is such a cool trailer already. Oh, man. This is like, this is like next level stuff. All right, we're going to take a look at the containers in just one second, but this has just blown the world of Majorette open. A container chassis trailer for the 600 series transporters with kickstand. Look at that. Just Isn't that the freaking coolest thing you've ever seen? Just, just the chassis alone. That's all metal. That whole chassis is metal with the exception of the uh, fenders around here that hold the axle on. I mean, this thing is just wicked cool. Wicked cool. Then you got these containers. This is very good plastic. Very high quality plastic. Uh, the containers are made with these uh, symbols here. Um, it's kind of hard to see on the camera. They are printed, but the actual area that's printed is molded in. So they'll be able to put any logo here. It doesn't have to always be Volvo. Um, but there's always going to be a door and windows. And then that's pretty cool. You just got big Volvo on the other side. There is your container doors. And the container opens up. It is hollow inside. Interesting interesting uh, design in the front and the top of there. I don't know if that one might mean something. It's just kind of weird. 
I guess that might be how they inject the plastic. It's kind of kind of different. Uh, nothing on the bottom. Uh, very good detail on this side as well. A lot of depth. It's three dimensional. Looks good. Uh, this guy is the exact same one. So they are exactly the same. They just position them like this on the truck so that they look different. This is ridiculous. So these containers, these are the notches. They just, and they hold in there pretty well. Oh, well, I thought they held in there pretty well. They, uh, so I guess without the rubber bands, they'll just fall out of there. That looks pretty good though. It looks really, really good. This trailer is, uh, in my opinion, this trailer is a game changer. Now, in case you're wondering, well, do they stack? Well, yes. Look at the top of the containers. You see the little, little notches on there. They do stack. They don't slide off. So that's a very, very, very nice touch. This is what I'm talking about. Major A is always looking ahead. They're always looking ahead. And I can tell you with these new containers, with this new chassis, uh, we're going to see some pretty cool stuff come out of this. This is not going to be limited to the Volvo line, I assure you. We're going to see some very, very cool stuff come out of Majorette. Uh, this is the same cab as the first guy in the same gray, same black. Throw him up there. Snap him in. That truck, cash money. Cash money. So let's see what we got here. We're going to bring our other FMXs up to the front. We have our articulated guy here. We got our hauling guy here. We'll put our show truck maybe like right there. And kind of throw the containers right there. Try to get that in the nice, nice shot. Make it look good. So there we go. That is the 2021 Volvo assortment. However, that is not every single Volvo model. There is a large playset, uh, kind of like this Porsche Experience, and it will come with a uh, Volvo service van. It's the Renault Master. Uh, it's a Renault. I'm pretty sure it's a Renault. It's a big cargo van. Um, it also comes with a little bit smaller series from the trailer series and a, the, the little small half trailer um those are i believe exclusive to that set however you will find that small tipper trailer um because there's also a volvo box set that is available as well um, but it just has these models in there as far as i know none of those are exclusive in any way shape or form um, but if you want to get every single volvo model you do have to get the play set it's a big play set it's probably going to be between 50 and 75 bucks. Um, it's pretty cool, but that's how you're going to get all the Volvo models. But anyways, we're going to roll out. Hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you guys appreciate that. I cannot, cannot tell you how flipping awesome this is. I love trucks. I love construction equipment. I was so, so stoked when these Volvo models dropped and Major was doing these. I could not wait to get my hands on them. And hopefully these will come to the U.S. I can tell you that these will not come to the U.S., these hauler trucks, unfortunately. But we might get the uh, six-model assortment, potentially. But anyways, we're going to roll out. I'm going to salivate some more about these Volvo models, and I hope you guys enjoyed checking these out with me. And I hope you guys have the same enthusiasm, because I love these. I love these. Major, you guys did such a good job. Man, you guys are awesome. Love you guys. We're going to roll out. Level and die cast. Peace.